Hey, this is Satya from the EMF Center. I want to clarify what harmonizers and neutralizers actually do, because whether they come in the form of a pyramid or a pendant or a sticker or a disc, or they're beamed to your home from some remote location, either way, they don't actually reduce the strength of the electromagnetic radiation at all as measured by an EMF test meter. However, the, the advertising often leads you to believe that on one hand, they change the radiation so much that all the health concerns completely disappear, while on the other hand, they change it so little that all your devices will continue to work just as perfectly as they did before. So here's a question to consider based on a loose yet still very relevant comparison. Imagine you discover that you have lead in your water and you're looking at the option to install a filter to remove it as much as possible or put a sticker on your tap that claims to harmonize or neutralize the lead to the point where you're, it's not a problem for your body anymore. I think that's a good comparison to a situation where you have a Wi-Fi router, for example, and you're concerned about the microwave radiation that you're getting from it and you're looking at the option to either move it further away, install some partial shielding, put a timer on it so it shuts off when you go to sleep, or whatever you do to actually reduce your exposure, or just leave it where it is and put a sticker on it that claims to harmonize or neutralize the radiation and um, make it not a problem that way. So my personal take on all of these things is that after you've done everything possible to actually reduce your exposure, um, by all means, if you think the pendant or the sticker is a good idea and it brings you peace, go for it. But never for a microsecond would I see it as an alternative to actually reducing your exposure. And please know there's a lot you can do that really does make a difference. For example, a measurable difference. Um, even a slight increase in distance can often make a very significant reduction to your exposure. And there's many other things that don't require huge amounts of money or having to live in a cave. Thank you for watching.